Okay, first of all, wait a minute, dude, you didn't just say that. There's no way that that happened. Are you kidding me? Look, if a guy can go to, to going from making 20000 to making 60000 by doing those two things, that's impossible, but you made it happen. Anybody that's watching this right now, their life just got changed. Just like that. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Andy Elliott. I'm here today with my man, Ian Macklin. Look, you guys know him. He's one of the twins. We got what's Ian up, and Evan Macklin. Yeah, so check this out, guys. Look, this is going to be podcast number five. This right here is going to be about veterans, rookies, branding and marketing, and totally just dominating this wonderful, beautiful market, getting paid what you're worth. So I got a couple questions. I'm going to actually interview him for a minute. By the way, Ian was number one salesperson in yeah, Nissan. You got to say your number one twin first, just so if Evan's watching this, that he knows. So go ahead and say it. Yeah, so number one, you got to speak into the mic, all right? <laughs> At least your brother knows how to speak into yeah, the mic. Whatever. I might not be the smartest one, but I sold more cars, so that's the most important thing. Okay, so listen, I want to say this to you, number one. He is a good-looking twin. They're like, they look the same. The only way you can identify him, his brother doesn't have a goatee, okay, a beard, and uh, he does. It's the only difference. Other than that, it, so I look at their chins. If they shave their yeah, chins, I, be gone. I would just have to call them twins. <laughs> But I want you to know this. If you're watching this right now, um, tell them a little bit about yourself, Ian. Uh, so I'm Ian. I'm the older twin. But, uh, you know, I'm the number one Nissan salesperson in the world. I know that sounds crazy, but 10 years running. Um, just crushed, killed it. Did lots of branding and marketing. But that's not all I do. Closing, negotiating. You know, I'm just obsessed with those things. And uh, really just being the best and really training people to be the most elite salespeople on the planet. So I know number one sounds kind of crazy when you're talking about a manufacturer in that many years. Um, but anybody can do it. You know, anybody can do it. It's attainable for everybody. Um, and I love, love showing people how we can do that with them every day. So that's, you know, that's, something, that's my passion. Yeah. So look, guys, I want to tell you this. This is what I call the powerhouse power team. We want to teach you how to do power moves, right? So I want to start out and I'm going to say, all right, Ian, so number one, right? Let's talk about veterans for a minute. All right, so if I got any of my veterans with me right now, we love you. We got your back. Hey, nobody gets sensitive during this, okay? Our veteran right? car salespeople. Yeah, our veteran car salespeople. Yep. What do you think about veterans right now? And let's talk about what we've seen. If you've been able to be a veteran and still stay at the top and destroy it, I love you. Probably you're watching the training because you love it. Right. So you're one of the one percenters. Let's talk about veterans. Well, I'll just say, you know, I was the veteran that was always looking to climb a new mountain and stay on top. You don't just become number one at a manufacturer at any company if you're not willing to just keep growing, keep going to the next level, keep finding training, keep finding passion to where you're just you're ate up with being the best. You know, there's guys that, dude, they'll become number one and then, and women that'll become number one and it's a one month thing. But can you put together the work, the training, you know, and the mindset really of what it takes to be number one for a decade or even for a few months. And so some of those guys are the guys I really love to talk to because there's guys out there that will just put it together. They're here every month. They're here at the Master Closure Seminars. They're getting inspired. They're getting motivated. They're always renewing that energy like the first day that they sold cars and so uh and then there's the guys that are burnt out and you know those guys and then I'm, it's not a bad thing but people can be burnt out in this business so easy managers owners gms sales people and i think it's because you know you stop learning so you start you stop growing and i think when you don't have that progress i think that that is the thief and the killer of being number one for a long period of time, which, you know, we all want to make a lot of money and we all want to, you know, love what we do. And so I like the, both sides of the coin. We got the guys that just crush it, kill it. They stay inspired. They stay motivated. They stay climbing the freaking hill and they stay getting that new mountain. And then we have the guys that are, you know, discouraged and the people that are discouraged out there, dude, we love you. We want to talk to you and we want to show you how to relight that fire and get your new mountain, man, and get that burning feeling that you and I had when we first started selling cars that we were able to maintain for so many years. Yeah, so true. And look, and I, I do want to say this to you. If if you're a veteran out there, if you're someone who's been in business for a couple of years, let's yeah. just call it like it is. Yeah. If you feel like you're burnt out, if you feel like you're struggling, if you feel like your back's against the wall, you're on a grind, right. having a tough time, I don't know, whatever. Look, we could just say all the above. Yeah. Whatever. Mindset, whatever it is. Look, shoot 
Ian a text. Yep. You can shoot Ian a text, right? Anytime. Anytime this guy will help you through a pain point, trouble point. All he wants to do is help you find pleasure. On the phone 22 That's hours it. a day. I only need like two hours of sleep, maybe. That's it. It's That's like all he does, two yeah, hours. Take. Yeah, um, what's your cell phone? 720-278-5017. So 720-278-5017 like the other podcast. Yeah, that's it. Shoot him a text message. He's got you back for life, right? Let's let, let's roll on here real quick. Yeah. Let's talk about rookies. Let's well, talk about rookies. Anybody who's been in the business for under a year and anybody wanting to get in mm -hmm. or who's just got Ooh, in. I, I love that. You know, because we have people reach out to Andy, you know, every day that have never been in the car business. And, you know, like I'm going to mention one guy real quick, Earl Cruz. He reached out on my first day like five months ago. And everybody sees Earl's story in Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation Facebook. You know, this guy reached out. He was a state trooper, 40 years old. You know, he was in the Army before. He reached out to you. You know, he started on the training, came down to a master closure seminar, went back. Yesterday, he posted that he was at 23000 bucks made. So, and just, you know, really unlocking. And he, he got into the car business, and it, it was amazing. It's like... I never had something like zero to 100K courses. I never had an Andy Elliott to show me exactly what to do. I never had any of those things. I just had to try to figure it out, stand on point and things like that. Well, Earl's got the branding down. These rookies, they're able to get the branding, marketing, understanding, you know, right off the bat. So if you're, if you're coming into the business, there's ways to come in like Earl did and just kill it right off the bat, you know? And is that gonna take some grind? Yeah, and some learning. But everything that you've set up, for these guys, I'm just like, man, gosh, it's so tremendous. And right now, I've just, I'm looking back in my career, and some of these guys are just going to 30, 40 grand, and you know, really, you know, at, at 20 years old and 21 years old, making that kind of money is just crazy. You know, right now is the hottest time in the car business ever, but we got some of the most young, hungry men and women on the planet. Like, literally, they're just eating up the training and they're kicking freaking butt man. yeah and, and by the way look that that hunger and that fire it's created yeah. listen i want to tell you this i get so you, freaking jacked up talking about this you man. you I can come on here every time yeah you can learn to be jacked up yeah. you can burn you, sure. you can learn uh you know to stay on fire it's it's a skill look it's not something you just wake up with okay you you choose your circle you choose the people that you're going to be around and those people they feed into you, you feed into them, right. and guess what? They push you, okay? You're around five crackheads, you're going to be the sixth, okay? Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? You're making $10,000 a month. Deep. Guess what? Go hang out with some people that make 100 grand a month. Hey, All right, guess what's going to happen? Was, that was one of the biggest things for me. You know, is I was a veteran, and everybody said, dude, you're at the max of what you can make, dude. Nobody in this market's going to make over 400. You're at the max. You've been making it. Just settle, man. Just settle. You know, you've made the most money out of anybody we know. And I thought that that was the best that I could do, right? You know, with you. And you said, yeah. dude, why don't you start comparing yourself to me? Fly down here and compare yourself to me. Run with me and let me show you what to do. And I'm like, there's nothing you can teach me, but I'll, I'll come down there and run with you. Well, I never left, but I went back and had the best year ever that I've had, put 10,000 bucks on my paycheck extra on top of 30 grand. So literally had a half a million dollar year and just unlocked a whole nother level. And so veterans out there, you can unlock another level. There's more out there. You just have to be willing to commit and go up another mountain, which you're already doing. So you can either stay on the one you're at and it's probably not going to be that good of a time or you can go up the new one. And I had to accept that and that's what I did. So yeah, you know? no, and I love it. And by, and by the way, look, some of you guys that have been sitting maybe in the shadows for a little bit. Hey, I, I yeah. get it. I, I totally understand. Um, don't be shy, okay? Don't be shy. I always say my mentors in life are people that have gone where I want to go, okay? That's important to me. So when I was younger, the mentors that I had, they were people that were unreachable. I couldn't reach them, couldn't yeah. talk to them. I couldn't text them, couldn't call them, couldn't call them. You know what? I just sat there and I could listen to maybe a cassette tape, right? I could listen to a CD, you know what I mean? I could listen to anything, but I couldn't get in contact with them. If you're out there and you're earning under 30,000, 40,000 a month, earning under, here's what I'll tell you. If the most you've ever made is 10, why aren't you earning 25? Why aren't you earning 50? Let me just ask some simple questions. If you want to know how to get there, reach out, tell us who you are, tell us where you're at, We'll get you a game plan, abracadabra. Let's kick butt. It's that simple. There's nothing complicated. There's no magic tricks. It's just skill acquisition. Look, we just want to know, hey, man, what do you need help with? 30 seconds. Boom. We'll help you. Done. Make sure you give them your cell phone number again. What is it? So it's 
5017. Yeah, yeah. And the best thing to do is shoot them a text. Just shoot them a text. Say, hey, man, you know, when you get a quick second, reach out to me. And, dude, he'll always hit you back the same day. Always. Give him your number one more time before we roll. 720-278-5017. This time not in Chinese. 720-278-5017. Okay, let's talk about something real quick. Sure. Let's talk about how you was the number one Nissan salesperson in the world. How'd that physically happen? Well, number one, you was great at closing negotiations, objection handling. You're great at, at making connections with people. You're yeah. funny. You, 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 you're you quirky. You know, you made people laugh. When people laugh, they didn't think about spending money. You know, you didn't look like your competition. You didn't talk like your competition. So people didn't see you as the competition, right? They bought lots of cars. Look, 95% of the people that you do business with, look, they bought a car from somebody. Okay, they bought a car from somebody. The idea of it is they know what a car salesman looks like, and guess what? He didn't seem like one. He seemed like the trusted advisor, the person that was like the I, expert, right? The one that they wanted to be around. Plus, they wanted to adopt you because they loved you. You're always fun. You're always smiling, having a good time. Let's talk about how you created these leads. Let's talk about lead generation, branding, marketing, marketing social media skills how important is that well it's more important than ever every everybody's on their phone at all times i mean we've have our phones just sitting right out here and so as i started to see the market change years ago i'm like man first you don't want to live by the door and die by the door so i started to see like branding and marketing was just becoming such a huge part of this business instagram snapchat and by the way if you don't know something you don't know what you don't know, so reach out and let's go over it. But what if somebody's so an introvert and they're like, I ain't doing cameras? Well, I'll just tell you. The, let's talk about that. Yeah, well, then you're just going to have to retire out the business, you know. But here's what I'll tell you. The introverts right now, they're winning on our training and in branding and marketing probably better than anybody. I just got to tell you, we have introverts that once they understand and people can see them on social media, and I know, you know, you might think it's scary. Well, if you don't have confidence in something and you haven't been coached in something, then it can be really scary. But once you get the hang of it, we have introverts winning at such a high level on social media that it's crazy, you know? And I'll tell you one thing, I come off, you know, I'm an extrovert. So when people see me on social media, they're expecting a lot. When they see an introvert, they're voting for them. They're rooting for them on social media. People There's like other vulnerability. They yeah. like vulnerability, right? They, they love the vulnerability. And so the introverts that we're coaching on social media, I mean, it's just extroverts. I'm just going to tell you while you're out there, you're going to have to try a whole lot harder. You're going to have to have a little bit better of a plan. You're going to have to dial that stuff in and you're going to have to really attack introverts. You're going to have to do the same thing, but you're going to have a lot of people that when they reach out to you, it's going to make you feel really good. You're going to see the plan work. And I don't know. I just really like coaching introverts right now. Yeah. So what resonates with people is what I love. So, um, I'm too close to the mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's Sorry about a little that. Sign. <laughs> We're just getting a little sign over here yeah. saying Andy's too close to the mic. <laughs> Dang it. You're right. All right, listen. So let's just talk about something real quick. Yeah. Um, on the branding and marketing, you're not good at social media skills. You're not good on the camera. You don't like talking to people, right? And I'm mm -hmm. just saying like on a video, mm -hmm. right? Maybe going Facebook Live or something mm -hmm. like that. Let's talk about some success that we've seen, mm -hmm. real success, true testimony story for some people who have gone out and done it. What about the guy in the dealership that you were talking about, okay, mm -hmm. that you said you guys own the store, you owned everything, and then you guys convinced that, ex that introvert to get on and do his first Facebook Live. Yeah. And then remember that you said that lady came in and you said, how can I help you? And they said, we're here to see him. Yeah. Well, you know, he's 52 years old. You know, he thinks he's not the best looking guy, but I think he's a great looking guy. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can look him up. But, you know, he says, I'm not putting myself out there. You know, people don't like how I look. I'm not like a, you know, super studly, you know, six foot three dude or something. And, you know, he came out of his show. We said people will resonate with you. You just have to come out of your show. Show. And once you do, you're going to see that the whole world is like you. You know, there's a lot of people out there that they're just going to be like, man, look at this guy trying so hard. And by the way, he reminds me of somebody and they'll connect with you. So, you know, our social media was dominant in our store. You know, our whole staff was on social media. We didn't need advertising, you know, and our whole staff was on it. Well, once he did his first live, you know, and he's using the social media skills that we went over, I'll never forget, you know, his first customer coming in, you know, we're all at the tower and this customer comes in and they say, hey, Jim, I saw your social media. And, you know, he looks over and he's like, 
kind of like, what social media? You know, he's like a little confused, you know? And they're like, I saw your social media post the other day. You know, I want to talk to you about purchasing a car. And he turns around, and I'm like, dude, you've been selling cars for 10 years. Get in there. And he's like, I just can't believe somebody actually came in on these things. Right. Well, and didn't he sell two that day? Yeah. Fast forward, two off of social media. He's on fire on social media. And now he's like the social media whiz. He's just loving it, man. He's just, and you know what? Overall, it's made him come out of his shell, not just in the social media aspect, but closing deals. He's, he's better at closing deals now than he had been in the first 10 years selling cars. You know, it, I think it's transformed across his life because he's now being who he really wants to be. And it, it's funny how branding and marketing, you know, some social media pushing yourself a little bit can really transform more areas than just branding and marketing. Him getting in front of that camera, him seeing the result of a customer coming in off of it, him creating the business and he's never done it before, you know, total buy in. That, that total buy in, total buy in. And it really changed. I really feel like he's probably getting out of the business. And, you know, I think that that kind of changed things for him. Yeah, he's, he's on fire now. On fire. And, and by the way, look, guys, we trade 175,000 salespeople, over 1,200 dealerships, almost 1,300 now. I want to say this to you. Um, you know, so Ian and Evan, they travel all over the country, mm -hmm. okay? All over. Okay, they were gone, you know, 15 days last month, and that's a lot. And they're, mm -hmm. they're always here. This is our conference room. And they fly into a store, and what they do – Owners, managers, GMs, ASMs, closers, whoever. Whoever Doesn't is matter. looking for great culture in their company. Right. Listen, culture, which means unity. Everybody's on the same page. Mm. And they want to decrease, right, um, spending money to get customers in. Cost per acquisition per customer, right, to sell a car. What happens is, like, the last, just the very last store they flew into, okay, that dealership, this is their second time in there now within uh, three months. Um, when they first got in, they were spending $80,000 in radio. Now they're spending zero. zero. They completely cut out their entire radio budget. How? Well, the twins go in, they teach your entire staff mm -hmm. on how to do social media skills, branding, and marketing. Complete lead generation without the dealership going. And watch this. When the dealership pays for the leads... The salesmen don't really respect the leads when they oh, come yeah. in because they're just ready for another lead. Right. But when the salesperson goes out and creates his own lead, it's kind of like teach someone, you know, to, to fish. You know what I'm saying? They're catch fish for life. You know, if you catch them a fish, they eat for a day. Mm -hmm. You know, they Ooh, start good. to learn how to provide for themselves mm -hmm. in your store. And by the way, your competitors, your competition that are in that dealership when all of the salespeople around the company are going and creating social media buzz, all the people that they're connected with, right? What do people do? Well, guess what? They hear things from people that they know. And whenever the radio is going, hey, come in and buy a car. We're yeah. going to give you a discount. That's no familiarity. But when everybody's on there saying, hey, you know, it's, what's going on? It's Ian Macklin. I'm here. You know, I, I'm at my favorite job. You know, this store is un unbelievable. My general manager is amazing. My manager is amazing. You know, a lot of people ask, you know, do you got to have down payment to buy a car? No. Can you buy a car with bad credit? Yeah. Look, we do that here. I saved Miss Johnson last night. She sat on the showroom floor, you know, at another dealership for three hours. We had her internet at out of here for 30 minutes look we love our people we love you thank you for choosing us to be your number one dealership we just want to say thank you we appreciate you if anybody has any questions reach out and man every time on those lives it shows just how amazing the culture and that dealership is and guess what that costs no money and by the way that's just a real like one percent of what yeah. they do but just to show you well, that's a good picture that he paints the picture for these guys that they can have their own repeat their own referral and they can go get paid what they're worth and earn what they're worth for the rest of their life and guess what when they go in the energy they bring is amazing they do teach them to be the world's best automotive salesperson. And just like the proof is in the pudding, being the number one salesperson in the world in Nissan, they can all be the number one in the world, okay? Everybody sucks till they don't. And what happens is that managers are very busy. They learn how to sell cars. These guys live and breathe and eat and sleep. 2021, 2022 is about speed, social media, okay? Everybody's on their phones. Everybody's scrolling. Do you want them scrolling on your stuff? If you do, if you're in management, GM or dealer or anybody, you need to reach out to them, okay? And just say, hey, this is my store. This is where I'm at. Tell me how this works. They'll tell you how it works. 
Dude, it's dirt cheap, and it will change your life forever. Your whole team will be completely different. And, hell, they cut out $80,000, yeah, um, you know, went from a 150-car store to a 300-car store. It, it's just crazy, and you cut the advertising out and make more money. Anyways, um, rock and roll. Tell us, if you go back, right, when you, you were in your Nissan store, mm-hmm. when they cut out all the advertising, how did you guys get the people to buy in who didn't want to do it? Well, because they're all going to see the other salespeople. All it takes is a couple, and salespeople will see the bigger picture. You know, there are salespeople that are going to see the bigger picture, and when they start to see those results, everybody buys in. You know, you can tell me that the 40-year-old car dog, a 40-year car dog won't buy in, the guy that's, you know, been there forever. Well, when he starts to see the other guys getting leads chasing them, like who doesn't want business to be attracted to them? Who, do, who wants to go chase something? To chase something means for it to run away. So I'm not chasing business. And if you see somebody doing those things, man, you want to be a part of it. You might not want to for a couple of days. I don't know. But everywhere we go, when we bring that energy and we're painting the picture of what can happen, and you're seeing these guys with real examples, and you're seeing across the country these things working, you're going to buy in. I just don't think that anybody can't buy in. Yeah, I'm 100% positive. And, and I want to finish And I've been on. in some of the hardest stores where they're like, I'm not doing this stuff. And it's like, <laughs> okay, give us 10 minutes. Well, know? watch. And, and on that give it 10 minutes part, yeah. I want to say uh, the Lot Porter story. Yeah. Can you tell them the Lot Porter story real quick? Because just to show you how good and how fast they are, okay? One of the sales teams they went in, it was like, all right, who's going to go first? We're going to rock and roll. And nobody would raise their hands. Everybody's butt cheeks were puckered mm-hmm. up. I didn't want to do this. Yeah. I don't want to be here. And the lot porter was there, and he's like, I'll do it. Yeah, well, the sales manager said that he wanted to get a job, you know, as a salesperson. So they let him sit in on our dealer meeting when we flew in. And so, you know, we did our branding and marketing, and branding's different than marketing, but that's a whole nother story. So he, he sits in on our branding and marketing. We go over a lot of things, and he's nervous. He's 18 years old. He's a lot porter, you know. It's like his you know, third week being a lot porter. I mean, that's scary, right? You know, you're just a new kid fresh out of high school. And so as we, as he's not really technically a salesperson, at the end of the meeting, I'm like, I'm gonna show the first person exactly how to go live, what to say, you know, exactly how we're gonna get business, where we're gonna position it, exactly what we're gonna do, exactly what we're gonna do, who's gonna go first. And, uh, you know, he raised his hand, you know, and a couple guys were thinking about it. He just jumped right into it. And he said, he probably thought this is my shot to show the sales manager that I can do something mm-hmm. here you know and uh, fast forward we went live um, he he had three customers come in that next day he sold three that next day just off of branding and marketing and he's well, a lot porter yeah yeah he wasn't even technically a salesperson so you know that week they hired him as a salesperson he started going live he started doing the branding and marketing that he was set up to do um, you know and most guys in that store were averaging about 15 cars top guys 19 20 cars he did 23 that month off of social media and marketing didn't yeah. take up first first month did, right out the gate right out of the gate you know right out of the gate did 23 branding and marketing and now he's just an animal he's, yeah he's just he's he's all over the place so he's that's having tons of fun so that's what I want to talk about look rookies you know what you need to do okay it's time to level up veterans look you know what you need to do it's time to level up if you're not winning in social media, you're losing money. You're leaving money on the table. You're leaving money on the table. You're leaving money on the table. So lots of things that we love to do, and this one isn't about that, which is closing negotiations, objection handling. We're talking about, man, preventing burnout, pushing yourself to new levels, staying fired up, staying passionate about what you do. Look, man, don't be a coffin walking around the dealership dead. Be jacked up. Be fired up. Look, we love you. We want, to, we want to drop a quick podcast, put a couple little few things in your ear. Maybe you're driving to work, you're on your way home, and just yeah. want you to think about, you know, hey, man, you know, am I getting better? People are either getting duller or they're getting sharper. They're either gaining ground or they're losing ground. Look, that's it. Nothing stays the same. Nada. Okay, with that being said, hey, we love you guys. Let's rock and roll. Let's kick butt. We appreciate me. you. Yeah, shoot him a text. One more time. What's that number? So it's 720-278-5017. Doesn't matter if you're Eastern Time, Pacific. Just shoot me a text. Tell me where you're at. Everything that we went through. Man, I can't wait to hear from some of you guys. I get jacked up and fired up over this stuff. I mean, I really eat and sleep this all day long. So reach out to me. Reach out to me. I'm serious. Reach out to me right now. If you're watching this and that resonates with you, you want to learn. You want to go to the next level. You want business chasing you. You want to become the better you. You want to see the better version. 
just reach out. Yeah, let's dominate do your backyard. Let's dominate the backyard, man. Yeah, where let's you go. live, you, then you need to own it. All right, let's we go. love you guys. Rock and roll. See you soon. <laughs>